jawline we need a jawline for summer just hide away what lockdown did to us because lockdown did us dirty okay hi my loves welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is anushka so today we're gonna be doing a go-to summer like everyday look these are definitely some products i'm going to be using in that hot summer weather that hot uk summer weather because it'd be hitting some type of way compared to like when you're abroad the sun here i just feel like i'm gonna cook this is definitely something very glowy very lightweight very natural and easy but very long wearing as well and i'll show you how to get this look um and also just during summer i'm definitely want to go way lighter than usual because i just like my skin to breathe and it's already hot and i just don't want like a full face unless i'm like i'm going proper out out um but on a daily basis if i want to look cute like this is what i'll be doing now today's get ready with me is sponsored by shoptaker shoptaker is an app that i love to use you guys know this i've worked with them on various occasions they're the loveliest team ever i definitely recommend this app to everyone who wants to save some coin when they're online shopping personally especially during lockdown i've just been shopping online like crazy and because of shoptaker i managed to control myself stay organized and also save a lot of money now all you have to do to download the app is to go to your google chrome browser download the shoptaker button to your browser and you're literally good to go you can go ahead and browse your favorite online stores now let's say there's a specific item you're really interested in buying the shoptaker button will actually pop out in the corner and you can save your item to a specific wish list that you have created i've got a bunch that i saved to and you can also choose to receive mobile push notifications once your item comes back into stock if it's not in stock at the time you're saving it or you can also choose to get notifications when the item goes on sale which is a good way to save some money on my shoptaker profile I have a bunch of wish lists that I've created and it just helps me to keep really organized and sometimes I rush into buying things and I look back at it and I'm just like why did I buy this so this really helps me to make informed decisions on what I'm buying especially because I'm kind of like trying to reduce how much I buy because I just buy way too much than I need and it's actually kind of cool to look back at what you were interested in buying like two or three months ago and see if you still want it and if you still do want it then maybe yeah then go and buy it you know now my most favorite thing about the app is that when you go to your checkout with all your items the shop taker button will actually pop out and search a bunch of coupons for you and again this is another good way to save a lot of money and it's just been my most favorite thing about the app and it just does all the work for you because before i used to go on google and search a bunch of coupon codes and put them in one by one to see if any of them work you know just by chance while Shoptaker just does this for you. You just have to sit there and wait till it runs all of the coupon codes it's found for that website and you're good to go. I do you get a lot of questions about people who prefer to shop on their mobile and you can download the Shoptaker app and save some money on your phone as well. And you can also choose to receive mobile push notifications too. Now, if you guys wanna stay super organized with your online shopping and save yourself some money like I am, then definitely check out the link in the info box to download Shoptaker. Now today's post notification shout out is going to go to Pooja Shah. Thank you so much for always showing so much love in my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So yeah, we'll jump straight into this look guys. The first thing that I actually go out are my brows. And honestly, my all time favorite brow pencil at the moment is this hourglass one in the shade dark brunette. As always, everything will be linked in the info box, but this brow pencil is so easy and quick to use and it just fills my brows the right way um how i like it guys i'm so excited about summer even though it's gonna be in my like garden i'm so excited i'm just pulling up the weather today and oh my god like out of nowhere 34 degrees i'm now gonna set my brows in with my got to be glued gel if you do use this technique like it's like the best thing ever but just try not to get it everywhere i mean you could just wipe it off after haven't pulled this out in a while but i've just forgotten how much i love this technique um so yeah those are my brows done and these will not budge throughout the day i'm gonna apply some of this avant moisturizer that i got in my i think in my looks fantastic box it's really really nice now i'm glad i got to try this through the box because yes it is very nice but like would i go out and put 100 pounds on it it's not like it hasn't um convinced me that much but 
that's what that's what the box is about is you being able to try these products out i cannot emphasize this enough you need to wear spf in the summer like especially in 34 degree weather even in 10 degree weather even in minus two degree weather okay and i've always said that those sun rays are like ninjas they will get your skin no matter what even if you stand under a parasol all day i don't care they will get your skin okay now i've been really really liking the murad ct shield spf 50 so as you can see it goes a bit purple at first but you just need to like rub it in work it into the skin don't forget your lids Usually I would go over my eyebrows, but they're already done, so it's okay. By the way, I do have a video on some SPFs if you guys want to check that video out, but my most favourite one at the moment has been the Murad one and also the La Roche-Posay uh, Fluid SPF 50. I feel like everyone and their mums have been using that SPF. Okay, so my skin's ready. I'm now going to move on to my NARS Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Cuba. If you don't have this NARS Tinted Moisturiser, then I don't know what to do. I can't explain it like ever since i got it i'm almost done with it but i just feel like everyone needs this for summertime it's just the best thing ever it's got spf 30 um and it just makes your skin look so naturally beautiful like just radiant but it's just so good and the, the shade of it is perfect for me i mean it is obviously a high-end foundation so i definitely recommend going to like swatch it install something so you know you're getting the right shade because they do have a lot of shades and I just like to take a stippling brush and I'm just gonna blend this one out. When I go to work this is like my go-to as well because it's just so easy, it's long wearing and it's lightweight and you guys know I'm all about that lightweight life at the moment. Imagine like when I become a mum of like five kids or something like I swear like I just end up not wearing any makeup. I'm already so lazy as it is right now like I've definitely pulled away from doing like a full face because I just don't have the time I, and I honestly prefer the look and feel of just a natural beat you know. It's just so beautiful like it just makes your skin look like glass. You guys know I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape okay. This is in the shade Tan Sand. Now Tarte Shape Tape actually does a lot of like deals and i always wait for them i get them for like 10 pounds sometimes so just wait for like promotions because they do come very often i don't put too much to be honest look at that I'm now going to use my Huda Beauty Tantor in medium again i like to go in with a stippling brush for this and i just Kind of blend this into my cheeks. I kind of blend it away from my forehead when it comes to my forehead. Jawline, we need a jawline for summer. Just hide away what lockdown did to us. Because lockdown did us dirty, okay? Hide away that double chin. I'm just going to blend out my concealer and blend the bronzer and the concealer nicely together okay so now we're going to set this all with powder i'm going to use my laura mercier um, translucent setting powder now when it comes to summertime like i only ever just go out my under eyes my forehead brows because my brows get really oily it's so weird but you just need a good setting powder in cinema now you can also go for primer as well like it really depends on my mood. One that I always keep with me is the Professional Hydrate Primer. Um, this is really good, but I also have another technique to make my my makeup stay in place, which I'll show you at the end. I'm now going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I need to buy another one, but as you can tell, this is my most loved bronzer. But honestly, I have so many bronzers that I love, so may let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like my top five videos again. I used to do that back in the day. I talk like as if I'm 50 or 60 years old, but um, yeah, let me know if you want to see my top five blushes, my top five um, bronzers, or like do you want me to separate them into high-end and drugstore? Let me know in the comments below. Bronzer. Now, I always change my blush up, but I'm going to use the ColourPop 
new blush in the shade Crossroads. Now, when I used this in my previous video, it actually kind of shook me how at how good this blush is. And I don't think Primark sells the Muscovada blush anymore, but this is like a good alternative and it's still affordable. It's actually got a really nice mirror on it as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the perfect peach shade. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do for my skin today. The tinted moisturizer gives me enough glow, but sometimes I like to go with like a cream, which is my Honest Beauty Balm, which I've been liking a lot. I've used this for so long and I used to wear it every day when I was going into the office. But I'm just gonna keep it like this and I'm going to go straight onto my eyes. Now, I'm obsessed with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metals Liquid Shadows and I'm just gonna go in with the matte side today. And this one's in the shade Private Jet. It's like a blush kind of shade. Now what I like about this is that it does really stay in place. Gotta curl them lashes. I'm now gonna use my most favorite mascara, which is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, and I try to go with the volume side first. And then I'll go in with the curl side. And now finally I'm going to use this new NARS oil infused lip tint in the shade Laguna. I've just realised I really need to paint my nails but um, this stuff is really really nice and it's got a lovely beautiful tint to it. Love it. Another one that I definitely like I'm obsessed about is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I don't even know where it is. It's right here. Like... I definitely need to purchase another one once I start going out and about so I can have one in my bag as well because this stuff is so bomb and mine's up to here. That's how much I've used it. All right, guys, this is the look that I'll be wearing throughout summer. Um, I definitely love every single product that I've put on my face and yeah, I've just been obsessed with it. Um, but just to finish it off, I almost forgot. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face. Now this smells so, so strong, which is definitely the downside to it. But when I put this on, my makeup does not budge. By the end of the day, like I literally look like I have a full face on. I don't wear it all the time because of the strong scent of it, but if I know like I'm gonna have a long day out, especially in heat, then I definitely recommend this. It's like such good hold for your makeup. Now the scent actually smells like a perfume. It does linger for a bit. You can like smell it, but throughout the day, you just, it, you just don't even notice it anymore. So I just kind of like get used to it, but if you're sensitive to scents and like perfumes, especially if your skin is sensitive, I wouldn't recommend it, but like this stuff is really, really good. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the Shoptega link in the info box. Subscribe if you haven't already, because we are trying to get to that 200K goal. And thank you so much for watching guys. I love you lots and I'll see you in my next video.